all right hey guys welcome back to my channel as you guys can see i'm going to be moving finally i just came back from going to get the keys and stuff like that i'm moving i've been at my current location for almost two years now and i gotta tell y'all guys a little story time about how hard it was for me to get this apartment it was absolutely insane i'm gonna start with that and then you guys are gonna see me pack a few boxes get straight into the video if you guys are looking to move or a little bit of motivation or a little de-stress out of your move right now keep watching stay tuned oh. all right so i've been wanting to move from my current place because from day one when i walked in this place it was just not it and my ring light's giving me an issue it was just not it like i came here right? i moved from new york originally as you guys know and i moved about almost an hour from new york pretty much so i moved out about an hour away I first came here they gave me such a hard time getting a place because first of all i saved up eleven thousand dollars if you guys didn't know that for my last videos but i saved up a lot of money to move here because uh, at the time it was the pandemic people lost their jobs i had unemployment you know unemployment was booming so i said boom i'm gonna take this money save up and move out of this crazy new york city because i was over new york already so i said boom okay i'm gonna do that came over here um real estate lady warned me that it was gonna be very hard for me to even find a place because a i didn't have an actual income and b i was on unemployment and another thing is that they were just very strict at the time. So during the pandemic and stuff like that, people was, you know, not paying rent and stuff like that. Being that I paid my rent the whole time, no matter what was going on, I did not miss a payment. So I made sure of that. So when I came over here, I saw a place after place. And mind you, I was taking Ubers from New York to here. It was like $130 one way. And I came here at least three different times and stuff. My realtor was great, just couldn't get it done. So I seen this place. Originally, I wanted to live here in the first place because I was like, uh, it's probably easy to get into so when i called them signed up and stuff i did my application i got approved the next day i was looking for these apartments for three weeks over here and got approved the next day in this place i was like wow that's strange so quick and I'm, i have unemployment and my unemployment ends in september but i did have a big cushion of that eleven thousand dollars that i did have so i guess they thought okay cool you know we could work with that or whatever so unless they were just desperate i have no idea what the reason was they approved me i moved in so the first day i came thing was cool on my side the movers came everything was good moved out i called here first and said hey guys is everything good they said yes you can come i said okay cool i'm coming so we drove an hour got here went to the office the first question was let me make sure you paid everything i've been paid everything a month before i prepaid my rent i did the first month's rent security deposit hold fee all that type of stuff all that money i paid up front so boom that was the first question he had to me which i never really liked that property manager he's no longer here so it is what it is so we know why he's not here so the office go get the keys so they don't give you the keys when you pay your money you get the keys the same day you're moving in so that's a little nerve-wracking with that but one day he's like oh i can't seem to find the keys i was like you i prepaid a month ago and you can't find the keys like what's going on here so that was the first thing the first red flag of this place or whatever so finally found the keys i came up here when i came up here they were literally still doing work on this apartment i could not believe it the man was in here about to glaze the tub and if you know what that means it's a very heavy chemical he had a hazmat suit on it has in here breathingness and the movers and the movers told me that they couldn't take that smell to continue and i'm paying the movers by an hour by the hour so the longer they're here the more money i have to pay it's a big thing we couldn't use the bathroom they were still putting light fixtures up etc etc among other things that was going on too so i was like what's going on when we walked in here the previous tenant left the keys on the counter so i said duh that's where the keys is at so he got the keys gave them to me and that was it so i had some other problems along the way and he was just very difficult not one to help me i had some super crazy loud neighbors i know you guys always hear me saying oh i got loud neighbors upstairs um i had to call the police on them the police didn't do anything i complained multiple times the old property manager didn't do anything i had to go over his head they ended up end up not being here no more i'm not sure like what ended up happening i don't know if it was the noise complaints but it was really crazy four o'clock in the morning throwing furniture over my head would not stop at all i had to bang on the ceiling crazy they was just od like it was it was too much for me so glad they moved out and they end up moving somebody else above me and same problem same issue so i don't know if it's the apartments or if it's the people that don't care i don't know but i, I said to myself i'm out of here i'm not staying in another apartment that has anybody above my head i'm not doing it. when i wanted to go to the new place it's a top floor apartment so I went, I called that apartment or whatever, went to go see it. I had no intention of taking it because my lease is not literally up until September. 
so i knew if i took that i had to pay to break lease and do all that type of stuff and it's a lot of money to break a lease it's around two to four thousand dollars plus the moving expenses to the new place so i was like uh, i got money but i don't got no eight thousand dollars for that so i went over there i had no intention of even taking that place but when i walked in there it felt like home like you always know when an apartment is for you when you walk in you're like oh yeah i could do this i felt it feels like home i, I felt that a couple times in my last apartments the last uh two moves that i had pretty much i felt the same exact way about them when i walked in so i was like yeah i could do this but she was talking about you know oh you can move in june 1st at the time it was like may 19th and i was like june 1st a little bit too early because they're gonna charge me a lot of money so anyway so long story short it's a back and forth about this apartment back and forth because i have rental assistance okay it's not section eight it was a thing during the pandemic that i signed up for i actually signed up for the same rental assistance back in new york and i got denied i tried twice i got denied i have no idea i had no income during the pandemic in new york in new york besides the unemployment so i'm not sure i got denied so fast forward to december i moved here in september at this current place fast forward to december they email blasted the whole property saying uh sign up for uh renters assistance and stuff like that sign up for that sign up for that so i was like i'm not even gonna sign up because they're not gonna accept me so i ended up signing up and they accepted me they did not send me that because i risk of anything i paid my rent everything was paid up and stuff like that so that's not why they sent that they sent to the whole building so basically that was that i got approved but it took six months for me to get it so they ended up paying my rent from october of last year to this day and age so i didn't pay rent this whole time because of the renter's assistance so I paid a lot of money and that's how i was able to move also shout out to my family because they definitely helped me with this one so thank you guys i forgot to say that in the beginning but they were a big help i feel like the new apartment was discriminating against me because i had rental insurance they felt not rental insurance rental assistance they felt like i'm not able to pay the rent because i had rental assistance and i was at risk of eviction or something like that which they can go on my records here and look at i paid every single last payment i've never missed a payment i've never been evicted nothing like that i had eleven thousand dollars when i moved here so how are you guys and it's, it's been a whole back and forth about this whole thing i've been so stressed out crazy about this situation and i wouldn't have been able to do this if it wasn't for the property manager helping me so much like i truly thank her and the reason why i picked that place because it has such a good such good reviews and stuff like that about the property manager and just the area when i went it was super quiet it's like in the boondocks it's like under ten thousand people the place i live now is like seventy seven thousand people i moved from new york which is eight million right so i wanted to get a little bit more peace and stuff like that so that's why you know i decided to go a little further i'm almost like two hours three hours kind of from new york at this point so I'm, I'm pretty far i'm pretty deep out back and forth so much i started this process may 11th and today is july uh 5th and i finally got what i needed to get i finally paid the money signed everything signed sealed delivered all of that stuff it took that long just to get this done because the higher ups didn't know what they was doing like it's crazy like y'all discriminate against me because i have rental assistance but if i had section 8 it would have been all good all good all great as you guys know if you know about section 8 section 8 is a really hard thing to try to get and the waiting list here is seven years long like i'm not gonna get section 8 by the time i get section 8 i'll have a house by now because after this i want to get a house because this apartment stuff is not for me to stress it's crazy it's easier for me to get an apartment in new york than it is here and i have no idea why new york they're willing to help but over here is cutthroat like they don't want to help you if you don't have a typical nine to five i don't even know just a typical nine to five they're going to give you a very hard time and mind you you guys know i get paid from youtube i get paid from the side hustles but if they're not on your taxes it doesn't count when i first came here i wanted to put poshmark on my uh income i made six thousand dollars on poshmark in the one year but it didn't count because it wasn't on my taxes so they didn't want to look at it so if it's not on your taxes and it's not a typical nine to five they don't care about it so if you're going through this right now with any apartment stuff just try not to stress you will find the right apartment make sure you guys look way before time i started looking at the beginning of may i believe and i could not find a single thing for a two bedroom that was affordable everything where i live now is like two thousand twenty five hundred this and that the cheapest i was finding was 1850 i don't want to pay 1850 currently i pay in the 1700s and stuff like that so 
why would I pay that much? And I don't need to, you know? So it's just crazy. Like all the rents are going up everywhere you go. Nothing's cheap anymore unless you're going to move to Alabama or somewhere like that in the boondocks. But I don't know. Like this really scarred me, this last apartment hunt. I moved. This is going to be my fourth apartment. And this was the hardest one to get out of all four. And I moved in New York two times. Like what is going on the my fourth apartment and my hardest apartment to get so once you by the time you guys see this i'll be already moved in and everything like that unpacked so you guys will see a couple more apartment videos so I, I talked your head off if you have any questions leave them down below so we're gonna get started packing and yeah see you guys in a sec